Stephanie Melgoza pleads guilty in the death of two people last April. So yeah, this chick was drunk driving and the reason why it's popping off is like the, the police cam. So I, I can't even say much about this. Let me just, let's just watch it. Right. We begin in the Tazewell County courtroom this afternoon. A guilty plea. You're like kind of smiling there. Look at that. Yeah, I she don't was, know if she's, she's still, still kind of partially lit there. Yeah, she's probably still hammered there. From the woman who struck and killed two people with her car while intoxicated last April. Stephanie Melgoza pleaded guilty to four charges, which include two counts of aggravated driving under the influence with death and two counts of aggravated reckless driving causing bodily harm. The prosecution dropped charges. You stop there for a second. Look at her age, 24 years old, right? Mm. She's just the ones that get caught. She's the one that get caught. All of these motherfuckers are like this and they're risking their safety and their lives and the lives of others. It's very few bookworm girls out there that are just buried in their studies at 23 and 24 years old. Most she's, of them are like this. She's going to school, right? Yep. So what would be a better, what would be a better life for her? Getting knocked up at 18, 19, staying at home, married, being submissive. Or being an enlightened, empowered feminist woman going to school to get a job, driving drunk. Well, apparently it didn't work out so well with the second one. Mm. Possession, illegal transportation of alcohol, and failure to reduce speed. Melgoza originally pleaded not guilty last May. The charge. She looks like a demon. Well, I mean, when you're this screwed up and fucked up and you've killed a couple of people, I'm sure that the demons are floating around you. Charges are connected to a crash last April near Throttle Bar and Grill in East Peoria. I see so many drunk bitches looking just like this driving around, bro. Oh, yeah. I know, I didn't hit that. No, no, no. It's just... <laughs> oh, yeah. I stay away from them. Which resulted in the deaths of Andrea Rosewix of Avon, Ohio, and Paul Prowant of Seattle, Washington. Wow. Police reports detail partial limb amputations and full blunt force trauma to the victims. Melgoza's attorney says she decided to plead guilty because she is remorseful for her actions. Oh, I don't have the, oh, I didn't get the cam. I didn't get the body cam video. Let me find the body cam video. Right. Gotcha. So she, she obviously was hauling ass because she hit him hard enough to take off limbs, cut pieces of them off, tear pieces of them off. Let's see here. That looks, that looks it right there. Like two down it says body cam. There you go. There's one of her in the hospital where she's just like, I can't. I got to go to school tomorrow. I got to go to school tomorrow. Got to go to school. She's like so every. She doesn't even know that she's arrested. That's how drunk yeah, she was. She, she doesn't She doesn't understand the gravity of what's going on because she's probably still blitzed. Here we go. Right after killing two people. Tip my pen with your eyes. Your eyes only, but keep your head still. I want you to continue that test so I tell you to stop, okay? Okay, sir. You I'm understand? Right yes. All right. Touch the tip of my pen just so you know where you're from. There you go. All right. That's what I want you to follow. Does she think she's on a date? It's nice. No, that's what women do. I mean, she's like, a nice <laughs> little smile. You know, she probably show him some titty or something too, to try to get off the hook. Nope. Keep your head still for me. Oh, my head. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. What do you say? Get, you want you want to get some head? Okay, let's go to the car. Yes, <laughs> no, it's we're really gonna try, hard. We're gonna try it's that really, again. It's hard. All right. Just, okay. 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 This is just after murdering two people. Yeah. Yeah, it's just after killing two people. Keep their head still for me. Yeah, their fucking life's over, man. You know what? You know what's sad? I bet dudes would still be simping for this chick. Of course they would, bro. Because, you know, they would want to give her a second chance. They would I, think that she I, was I, contrite, right? I can fix her. Yep. <laughs> they would think that she's contrite about this and that nobody's going to take a look at her, but I'm going to be the better guy. I'm going to show her. Yeah. Okay. Hold it's so funny. Go ahead. Do the best you can. Just follow up your eyes. Are you able to hold your head still without your hands? Okay. All right. Fine, just follow fine, up your fine, eyes. Fine, okay. Fine, okay. Keep following. Nope. Can't do it. Keep looking out to the side. There you go. Well, if a dude did this, as soon as he gets out of the car, he's getting tased and shot. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. No, they'll they'll well, they'll cuff him up. They'll slap him up against the fucking car. They'll brutalize him a little bit. You murderer! Yeah. 
Yeah, you think that we don't get treated differently because we're men? Of course we get treated differently. 